We are decked out head to toe in water marbling. The scarf, the necklace, we even have a planter and a coaster. And apparently most of it, you can learn how to do yourself at Dallas Silk Art. Hanging out with Gwen, who manages the store here. Okay, you guys are kind of everywhere, but talk about this location. Yeah, so we're here in Grandscape. Uh, we've been here for the last two years and counting. Uh, it's been a really fun time, and here we can learn how to water marble. Okay, so it happens in the colony, but then you also go to other locations. Yes, it actually started as mobile events. Uh, we do mobile events, we have a bigger studio space, and then also this one here. I showed a few examples in that intro about what can be mar water marbled, but what else is out there? What else can people do? Mm -hmm. Uh, so it's just kind of um, really anything that we could paint on. Uh, so we're branching out to different techniques. It's not just to the silks, so we're doing it on coasters, planters, uh, even canvas as well. Yeah, scrunchies, rings, I mean, kind of everything. Okay, I I'm ready to learn this. Oh, yeah. Should we try it? Yes, let's get started. Okay. So we actually start with our uh, first color. So with this one, we're gonna give it a good shake. Okay. So we're gonna take this, go in the center and give ourselves a really big drop. Right now, we're getting out all the negative space. So we're just pushing that out sure. all the way to the edge. Okay. And is there, is there a specific design that you do when you teach these classes? You're saying do mm -hmm. this exact way. You're, they're, it's not like free form. Uh, so there is some free form to it, uh, but basically each project starts out like this. So we get the patterns where, where you want them and the colors also where you want them. Uh, this is actually just getting out all the empty space. So you see how it's just growing out to these sure. sides in here? It's pushing out all that negative space. Okay, this is the fun part you said. Yep, this is the fun <laughs> part. So now we're just gonna take our colors and then I call this the hot sauce method. Literally Ooh. just sprinkle your colors wherever you like. So we're not worried about like what the patterns we're making or anything, we're just getting all the colors where you want them. So now I'm gonna actually have you take this one and just start sprinkling wherever okay. in the bin. Still, still hot sauce effect? Uh-huh. You were saying you can do this for, I mean, bachelorette parties, girls' night out, oh, yeah. anything. Is there an age limit? Can kiddos do it? Oh, yeah, from 5 to 95 or whatever. That's basically as long as you can hot sauce and paint on there, you are good. Okay. <gasps> Further ado. Look. Dang, Gwen, we are awesome. How long does it take to dry, or do you so, put it in the dryer? Yeah, or? so it takes about an hour or two to dry. Um, basically, we send everything home while it's still wet. We give you a little care instructions. Um, but after that, you get to wear, you get to flaunt, you get to show everyone I've made it. I will definitely flaunt this. I mean, this was a team effort, but that's not all. We're making a canvas. Okay, where do we yep. start with this one? So we're gonna start with the coral. So okay. give yourself a big drop right there in the center. And I get to pick the, the colors for this one. Mm -hmm. So uh, now we're gonna stay with that one and keep adding your colors right in there. We're okay. making that drop the same size. you're good to do a freestyle or some snails on top. So you'll take the skewer. Okay. Um, you'll either do a little spiral starting from the center and making your way out. Okay. Or just kind of freehand and whatever. So I can go all the way to the bin? Mm -hmm. And then just kind of do some circles, do some little swirls, get something in there. <sighs> movement. So same thing, we're gonna hand you these two. We're gonna just lower it down. This one, we're just gonna let it right in there. Okay, go all the way down. And that's it. This art form was actually started in Japan. It's made its way to many different countries and now we sort of modernize it here today. Okay, there's our finished product. When it, it turned out Ooh. amazing. Thank you so much for teaching me and taking me through it. Listen, we will link everything to Dallas Silk Art on our website, CW35.